One last part, and I've chosen this because the, um, the mean HSC mark on this question was 38% out of the, what did I say it was out of? Three, three marks, something. One, two, three, so together six. Just for this third part. Oh, it's this third part, okay? So, what we're being asked to show is, or find, rather, is how many months in is the minimum number of months such that the amount left owing is 180,000? What's the significance of that number? It's half, right? It means I've got half left to repay. And we're going to gain some insights about that in a minute. Okay? So let's have a look at part three. Now, how do I go about doing this? What's the setup, right? The work that we did prior to this is a huge advantage to us because here, let me get another card. Here is the amount owing after N repayments, right? And what I want that to be is less than $180,000, okay? So therefore, here's the way I'm just gonna start. I'm gonna take that expression, AN, right? And I'm gonna let that be less than $180,000. Let's start off by saying that. I beg your pardon? Yes, uh, I'm glad you asked that, in fact. Um, you remember when you had a look at the question the first time, you saw there was part one and then part two, and part two had the show in it, right? Part of the reason why it's there, one of the main reasons it's there is precisely so that even if you screw up two, you can still access three. But importantly, that means when you do three, well, at least I'm going to use two, three, one, nine, and 50 cents as my M, right? That is in oh, fact, it is in fact off by one and a half cents, but, and I know this from experience, the HSC markers are trained that if a question has like prior information provided in it, then they have to be able to mark this and this and its resultant answer successfully, okay? Um, I'll leave it to you to work out whether that one and a half cents is gonna end up making a difference to our answer in the end, but let's see what happens, okay? So there's my M, and I have this big gross fraction, right? Oh, so can we divide, like, two, three, one, nine? Yeah, yeah, nine, yeah, so, so I'll talk about that in a second. Now, what I want this to be is less than 180,000. Now, pause, okay? I'm solving for M right now, I'm solving for M. It's interesting because n is up in the power, right? Now, I only know one kind of branch of mathematics that will allow me to solve for something that's in the power. We just spent logs. a couple of weeks on it. Logs, right? This is part of why this question was done so poorly. You've got logs, you've got inequalities in there. This is gonna be a bit of a mess. In order to solve it for the log, what I need to do is get 1.005 to the n. I need that as my subject. Do you see that? So therefore, as Nikita suggested, I'm going to divide through by 0 0.005, and that's going to let these 1.005 to the ends, and these 1.005 to the ends, say that 10 times fast. It's going to allow them to collect. They'll be like terms. Does that make sense? So when you divide through, I think this is what you should get. Let me check what I've written down. It's 46390. Yeah, it's like 400,000 something. 46390. How does that look? Does that look okay? So you see, all I need to do here is collect like terms. I've got my 1.005s to the ends over here. And then I've got a couple of constant terms, which I want to gather on one side. Okay, so let's follow that through and see what happens. I'm going to get minus... So this one, I'm almost there. I, always, I almost had my 1.005 to the n as the subject. I just need to divide through. But because I'm going to divide through by a negative, that means my inequality is going to change direction. So that gives me this. I think I'm going to lose a couple of zeros while I'm at it. Okay. 